everyone, my name is DJ Barry, and with SNDL outperforming the markets yesterday and then coming down today, could we see SNDL make a recovery or was yesterday just a flash of hope before we see things crash down even more? And in this video, we'll be answering that question and we'll also be taking a look at today's performance and what this means for the future of the stock price. And feel free to like and subscribe as that also helps me grow my channel and allows videos like this to reach more people. So after SNO came up almost 5% yesterday, we were in the green almost all day today until we fell into the red at around 3 p.m. Eastern time. And this was because the entire stock market experienced a dip around this time and we'll talk about why in just a minute. But SDO came down with it, but thankfully we didn't come down too much as we hit a low of 45 cents. And the high for the day came right after we opened when we hit the 50 cent line. And also in my video yesterday, for my price predictions, I accidentally said 61 cents for the high instead of 51 cents, so I apologize for that as I meant to say 51 cents. But anyways, after SDL did, did start to dip down a little bit, we weren't able to do much after that, and SDL closed the day trading at 45 cents. But later on in the after hours, we did start to spike up a little bit and we we're able to get back up to the 46 cent line. And overall, to finish off the day, we came down 3.22%. And for the most part, today was going fairly well and everything was looking fine as we got the Fed's decision on how they'll handle the rising inflation rates. And to sum it up, they pretty much said they won't do anything about it for now and then eventually they'll start to raise the interest rates. And the markets actually reacted pretty well to this as it's good that the Fed announced that they'll finally eventually do something. But things took a turn for the worse when Fed Chairman Jerome Powell's Q&A got underway. And during this, he warned that inflation remains above its long-term goal, which we already know, and supply problems are bigger and more long-lasting than they previously thought. And what this did was just add even more uncertainty into the markets, and the markets do not like uncertainty. And that led us to the market starting to crash down once again. And now let's talk about what this means for the future of SNDO and the entire stock market. Will this cause us to crash down even more or will we see a recovery? And of course, before we get into this, I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. I am simply just a dude on YouTube who likes making YouTube videos. And there's no guarantee that what I say will be correct. So just please also do your own research and form your own opinions. But in my opinion, here's what I think will happen with the stock market and then right after this, I'll give you guys my price predictions for SNDL. So I believe today's late market dip was just the market's reaction to what Jerome Powell said. But I feel like this reaction is just a one-time thing and that it won't carry over into tomorrow. And the little upwards trend we saw in the after hours sort of backs up my statement. But what will carry over is the market's reaction to the news that the Fed will finally attempt to do something to help stop inflation, as this is some promising news which we haven't gotten in a while, as for the longest time, the Fed just called inflation transitory. But of course, as we all know now, it is not. So in my opinion, I think the markets will go up a little bit more tomorrow as we are still banking off this good news. But now let's talk about SNDL specifically. So now for the moment you guys have all been waiting for, let's get right to these price predictions. So after everything we talked about in this video, where could we see SNDL go tomorrow, Thursday, January 27th? So today started off very well for SNDL, but Jerome Powell just had to ruin it as we ended off the day down about 3.2%. And of course, this dip isn't much compared to what we've been seeing over the last week, but it is still a dip and of course, we do not want to see SNDL go down even more. But as I said a minute ago about how I think the markets will be back in the green tomorrow, I believe the same for SNDL as I think we'll continue to see its upwards trend that we saw in the after hours, and I think we have potential to work our way back up to the 50 cent line. And I think we'll open up the day tomorrow with that upwards momentum continuing, and I think from this, we could see SNDL hit 48 cents. But then after that, we'll see a slight dip down to the 45 cent line, which will also be our, our low for the day. And then I think after that, we'll, we'll start to see SNDL run, and from this run, we'll hit the high for the day of 51 cents. And then I expect us to start to cool down a little bit as we get into market close, and I'm estimating that we'll close the day around 49 cents. And please remember guys, the markets are being insanely unpredictable right now, and also extremely volatile, so just be ready for anything. And I'll be completely honest with you guys, I am not as confident in my price predictions as I normally am for the reasons I just mentioned. So I apologize if my predictions are incorrect, but of course, do not listen to everything I say because I am not a financial advisor. And also make sure you guys do your own research and form your own opinions. And that is going to be all for this video, guys. And I apologize for this one being up late, just like my last video was posted late because I just haven't had as much time to make these videos. But especially when the markets are like this, it is very important for me to update you guys so you guys can get all the information. 
And I hope you guys all enjoyed this update on SV Daily in the stock market. And I'll be back again tomorrow with another video, so stay tuned for that. And I hope you guys all had a great day today. Thank you all for watching. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen, and peace out. Woo